We'll see you tomorrow, brother. Oh, that would have been dope if it turned on right when you were leaving. <laughs> I know. <laughs>pretty much goes down every single day in our office when it's lunchtime. Everybody's debating about where we should go eat. Gio's saying Popeyes. Fuck pieology. Don't even know where the Popeyes fucking where our fucking good. Popeyes is around here. Yeah, Frankie always right. randomly craves Taco Bell. So <laughs> good. me and Ivan are the smart ones. <laughs> so we're going to Pyology. Tell him Swift, turn around nigga before he ends this shit. Fuck biology. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, so we're starting the vlog off around lunchtime this morning. Uh, you know, we just had to knock out a lot of back end stuff, emails, inventory, stuff like that. We got our lunch situation figured out. Me and Ivan are sticking to our guns, going to biology still. But after that, we're probably gonna stop by Home Depot. I just need one last thing to get the RX-7 running again. The battery relocation, uh, like we had uh, in previous videos, is pretty much done. We just need the 10 by 1.25 M size screw that Gio was talking about. And I just need that bolt to bolt down the, the negative battery terminal wire and ground it to the car. So that's all I know that we're gonna do today for sure and see how it goes. They definitely chose wrong. Look at that. Bro. Look at how happy Ivan is what right is now. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even hold it in. <laughs> that was delicious. Food is in our belly, we're ready to go again. Luckily there's a Home Depot like in this same complex so we're just gonna stop by there real quick and grab the bolt that we need. 10 by 1.25 M. So if it's not that, what do I get to do to you, bro? Leave me alone. <laughs> 1.25. All right, Gio, you better be right. I bought the size up just in case because we didn't want to have to go back. So hopefully one of these fit. Oh! oh is it? I Fucking Gio! Just kidding, Gio, I love you. Yo, I don't give a fuck. We're just gonna force this in at this point. It'll be a new thread pitch. Okay, so right now, Brian's getting caught up on some work at the office. For the meantime, while he's working and finishing, you know, whatever he has to do until we can go ahead and work on his car, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this. I barely just started sending it. Um, if you guys don't re don't know, don't remember, um, it's a, like a display, a little table thing that we're gonna have set up in the showroom. And as you can tell, it's like an ugly light wood color as i'm building it i'm sanding it down so it doesn't have a really so the, that way the smooth surface is kind of rough but when i paint it the paint will stick and it's not just going to peel off as you guys can see here all this space is just empty so we're going to plan on setting up the display table right here in the dead center and then right there we'll go ahead and display like our hats or backpacks accessories and a bunch of stuff it'll just it'll just look nice to have you know something taking up all that area so i'm going to go ahead and get down to it and start uh, setting this up I just got done sending down the first part of the display. I did use a really rough sandpaper uh, 80 grit, so it's so it really did give it a nice rough texture. That way, I can go ahead and start painting it, and then I'm gonna work my way up as I slowly and you know slowly build it. So let's go ahead and get this painted, and then see how it looks. I just got done setting down the first layer of paint. As you guys can tell, since I am using a, a brush with, I guess, hair on it, it does leave some streaks. So I'm gonna let that dry and then do another top coat. Hopefully it looks good. And if it looks like shit, well, too bad. I tried. <laughs> Me and Ivan are gonna connect the negative and the positive battery terminals right now. RX-7s are not meant to just stay put in idle for a long period of time, so I'm a little bit nervous about how it's going to start, but we're gonna connect them right now and get the car started finally. Let's see what happens. We just have the negative terminal connected. You always wanna make sure before you connect the positive terminal. There are no open connections, no loose wires, nothing of that sort. So we're, right now, uh, Ivan is just double checking and making sure that the positive battery line from the front to the trunk, that's all clear and that there's nothing that's gonna shock us or happen when we turn the car on. I only partially knew what I was doing with the battery relocation. Ivan was a huge help. So I'm gonna go ahead and let him do the honors of turning her back on. Don't tell me something's wrong. 
Are you gonna turn the kid a crank? These just shut off. Look, this is your boost controller, and then this is your, a, a, uh, your AFR. Right now, we're heading over to one of our neighbors by our warehouses. He knows a lot more than us in terms of like electrical work. And when we originally moved the battery, we were messing around with the wires, and we dislodged it from a from the ECU. So we're gonna see if he is even at his shop and if he could help us out. And the AFR really? just shut off. Good. It's really weird. Do we have it ready to go, but when we crank it, the boost controller and the AFR just like like they just. Right down there. See that big cable going to it? Right down there. Yeah, I see it. No, we don't want to start it. We just no, want to see if, if the starter was just hung up. You're going to be in for what, six months? <laughs> for a while, bro. Okay, this is what I'll do. I'll bring a power pro over, um, put it on the lift, and we'll, we'll throw it up there. Yeah. So we're pretty sure it's the starter relay wire that's holding us back from actually starting the car. We're gonna move Frankie's 350 right now and get my car up on the lift, get underneath and see what we can figure out. We got Dave here with his power probe tester, seeing if we can get it to turn over. I'm gonna go home, I'm tired. Peace. We'll see you tomorrow, brother. Oh, that would've been dope if it turned on right when you were leaving. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Before I leave, Comment below if you want to see Brian's RX-7 on our show March 24th. Everybody wants to see it. Brian, you gotta fix your shit. I need your help. I got you. Tell your dad, dude. <laughs> There's a link right here. www.tunitokyoevents.com. Go to that link, that website, and register. Peace. And don't be afraid. Of this, it's only an air bag. It's gonna go straight into your sack. Yeah, don't put your sack by it. <laughs> Bro. <Bruh. laughs> <laughs> Nothing. We came to the conclusion that the other day when me and Ivan took apart the steering wheel, disconnected a bunch of wiring to connect the new steering wheel hub, we probably unplugged something that we weren't supposed to. Me and Ivan, as far as electrical goes, do not know much about that at all. That's definitely not one of our strong suits. Dave actually knows everything there is to know about electrical work as long as a bunch of other stuff. That, that, guy, that guy knows his stuff. We're gonna push the car over to his shop. I needed him actually to do a couple things for me anyways. So it's kind of convenient at the same time that now he can work on that. What I'm gonna have him do is install my new double din stereo for the car as well as, well as I bought a rear view uh, camera. I'm gonna have him install that as well. When we moved the battery, I actually disconnected the methanol kit so he's gonna rewire it. The wiring inside the car is all jacked up right now. So I'm sorry, there's a bunch of delays that keep happening with the RX-7 and trust me, I need to get this car started ASAP. I have a few things in the works coming soon. There's a bunch of parts and everything that I've ordered for the car and I'll reveal that to you guys in a later episode. That's gonna end out the vlog for today. Like every video guys, the giveaway winner is... So congratulations to you. Every video we do a giveaway winner guys, so make sure you comment below. The comments have been going down a little bit, so make sure that you guys comment. It's important. The same people are winning and you can win too. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm.